Want that horse, don't ya? Had one just like it. Wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were it to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher, uh, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folks see witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we'd lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled, abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilfgaardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened to you? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, 
It was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love. But I destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Though as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Got only yourself to blame, I think. Leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? Your wife is with the crones, as their servant. What the fuck do you mean? What crones? Ones who live in Crookback Bog. Oh, I've heard folk speak of them. I thought it naught but tales to scare the children with. How on earth did she land there? They fled by night, 
They were riding past the forest when a beast serving the crowns attacked them and abducted Anna. A beast? Bloody hell. And Tamara? Was she hurt? No. Oh, thank the gods for that. So, Annie? What happened to her? The creature carried her deep into Crookback Bog. Didn't harm her, though. In fact, Anna seems content there. Content? What is this tripe, Witcher? What in bloody blazes is she doing in that swamp? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the forces. You'll survive! Let's show this bastard what we're worth!
him like that. Have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here, you fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where? She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanian's mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Sorry, I knew this never end. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Ardle's shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horsemen's blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. How can I help you? What are you selling? What's good?
Interesting lilt in your voice. You originally from Skellige? Odd Skellig. Spent my whole childhood in Holmstein. Why'd you leave? Always had a liking for the smithy. I'd sit there all day taking things in. The heat of the furnace, the smell of the hot steel, the pounding hammers. At 17 winters, my dad told me he could teach me no more. Sent me out there into the world, bid me to hone my craft. A few years on, I had my master crafting papers. Then the war broke out and I landed here. Take care now. Hold me ears. Wouldn't mind. So long. Wouldn't mind a look. So long. White one. What's your business? Bloody Baron know your ear? Move it! Come on. Hey! Ow! You're lifeless. Move it. <laughs> what you work, my man? Hey. Okay.
Come on. comes next once life subsides but greetings just in time good folk behold the one who will protect us you needn't fear soon shall we summon the wandering souls beyond all help some will be from these you must protect us evil creatures keep at bay keep at bay till the rituals done Begin. Keep us from harm, and let them not disturb the circle. What is this life? Well, you know. What comes next once life subsides? Soon will rise thy dead, thy buried. Will ye grant these souls reprieve? And still we'll prepare them. to end their grief. Let's begin for Father's Eve. Ye who wander on the game, ever caught in this world's thrall, see this sign, gentle, pale. Ye we summon, ye we call. <laughs> A sound I hear. It is right. A sound I hear. Tis right. A spirit breaks the still of night. Burn the incense ever higher. Spirit, join us round the fire. Spirit, speak. This time is yours. Tell us of your ghostly woes. Who are you? He knows. Should I drive him away? Nice. I've come for you, Patricia. Be gone, foul force! I cast upon you the light of the eternal fire! Abomination! Stop this at once! The errant souls! We must help them! Silence! I'll not tolerate necromancy. Help me! Leave now. You're disrupting the ritual. 
This is black magic. These folk disturb the dead. We cannot allow it. We will not. You don't know a thing about their customs. Take it and disperse the others. Good foe, leave not these grounds. Ye cannot break the circle. Come on. It is an ill turn. Ill. Woe away. Blood has stained the hallowed ground. Yet we cannot stop what has begun. If you want to continue, I'm ready. Good folk, we must the eve complete. Prepare yourselves. Ye we summon, ye we call. Enter souls, we'll judge ye all. All is quiet, all is gloom. What is the Something whispers, something peeps. Someone near our fire creeps. All is quiet, all is gloom. What is the darkest gloom? Wraiths! This sacred ground is with blood stained. We cannot the ritual complete. People, save yourselves. If your lives you value, run. Alas, all is lost. Hmm, gotta be a peasant who told the witch hunters about the ritual. That spirit they drove away. Your father's ghost, right? Threatened to come back, likely to keep his word. Old man Ambros, the Pella fears not. That wraith called you a patricide. He get it right? Aye. If I'm gonna help you, I gotta know everything. Why'd you kill your father? The Pella does not wish to speak of this. You can't hope to manage this alone. You're afraid, that's clear. Wraith will hold sway over you. Listen, I'll send him off. I've got to. But I need to know where he's buried. Corpse probably hasn't turned to dust yet. That's his bond to the world of the living. Ambrose lies in the swamp. Fine. I'll find his body, see what I can do. It's clearing up. Faster.
smashed his head in. Gotta incinerate it. That ought to get the Spectre to leave. Leave the world of the living. Never return again. Devil, do you mean? A great mare. A horse fiend. Folk done went mad. Lunged at each other. Murdering all neighbors or young'uns. 
It's the spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt! Good, you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canting. Should give him a taste of the whip to bring him in line, cause... M my lord, tis what they... they said too. About the mare, meaning... That is the... forest's... dark... ghost. Who claimed so? The... the... W w w witch hunters passed through just now, heading for the... village in the swamp. S -s Some... Lass was leading him, asking after her mother. Lass? We must go there at once, Geralt. Gotta prepare. Prepare now? Will you shine your boots or trim your nails? Ah, do what you will. I shall take my men and go. Meet you at the Crone's village. With the swamp to... Crowns to hunt down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Plowing swamp. Pox-ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Don't let him drive you back! I don't know you, but... Ah! I thank you! Introduction later. if you'd find the heart to serve the eternal fire. I'm Tamara. Heard quite a lot about you. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her! Stop arguing. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. You're a witcher. Will you help? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village!
Mother? Is... Is that her? Something. Witcher! Something's coming. Get ready. What was that? Wolves? Didn't it sound Because it was what? Get ready. Because it wasn't. Get ready. Thank <laughs> you. 
We may assist to lock our grounds in the Call it punishment, punishment let your children, children escape. Then the hard times open the door and the floor. When we're down, 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 down. she went all the way to hell. hell. Why would the best be need black hair? Any idea? The crime was just to for you to kill all. Hair kills him, how about a perfect there are times they leave the hair to rob all strings. Other times they take down the stairs. Take a look, look at the door. door. Oh, you want to let go to you? No, no. You do look like the Inquisitor's head, though. My Inquisitor's head is in where we're probably getting. Stay in the chat chat until the drum is left. What do you want to do? Sister, I am quiet. Sister, I am quiet. No, no, he can't be able to go. go. But then the one right outside the door started, started screaming, screaming and tearing her hair out. out. Didn't do what to do. do. So I so let out the out chest. Chest. So so her chest. Not her, her. The one she 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 no, 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 uh, no, 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 Get my It's the first early taste that they say, I'm not mad at me. Try to take the business away, baby. Sometimes I'm lost. What will you do? There's something in the cellar. I can't keep the fire where I have to go. I think. Well, you have helped them. Provide it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you have any more hacks, give me my nice fat fat water on me.
looks unsavory. What is like this? this? Just something to the black magic ritual. Which is his weaving in hell, not always the first curse. They get a grasp on individual souls this way. I think one of the dead dolls represents Anna. Can we free her if I find it? It's the only, only way I know of. There are risks involved. The item is woven into the dolls. See them? They, they symbolize, symbolize the individuals the, individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must also find the doll that is an Anna and take him from here. Tones on black magic. Initially, we burned them if I found them. Recently, I decided to make my one wise to read them first. Always wasting your minds with magic. <laughs> Seems like precision. What's that the higher rank they got at? Have you, you met a man? No. Neither have I. This risk you mentioned. Take only gonna get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'm not chancy. I did not know, know Anna. You, you've learned much of her. I find it easier to choose. Alright, right. let's take, take a look at the dolls. So interesting in that. Not just in the flower. I feel like I'll help me out. I heard once told me it was Annie's favorite flower. You believe this to be the dog? I'm sure it is. Take taking it. Thank you. They had, they had a chance to say goodbye. It was, it was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your, your pie will await you at Crow Perch. Can I collect it there? Thank you. 